Hey guys, today we're going to learn about the circumference of a circle. Make sure your calculator is there, you've got it next to you. We're going to use it. The circumference of a circle, what is the circumference? Well basically, the circumference is the perimeter of the circle. We know the perimeter, it's the outside, the actual boundary of the circle. As you can see here, we have the diagram. The circumference is basically the surrounding the boundary of the circle, it is the perimeter of the circle. When we're dealing with circles, we call it the circumference. So remember, the circumference is the perimeter, it is the outside of the circle, and it has a special formula. The formula is 2 pi r, c equals 2 pi r, circumference equals 2 times pi times r, r is radius. Or, another formula, C equals pi times D for diameter. You can use C equals 2 pi R or C equals pi D. Now you may think, what is pi? What's that symbol? I've never seen it before. What's that all about? Well, pi, we need to look at it quickly before we start working out the circumference of a circle. Pi is basically a symbol it's actually in the Greek alphabet. It's the 16th letter in the Greek alphabet and it is written as P-I and we pronounce it as Pi. Pi is basically the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. So basically to work out Pi, it's the circumference of the circle divided by the diameter. Now we're going to use the symbol Pi and it represents 3.142. Two. We're going to use it whenever we're working with circles, circumference of circles, area of circles, when we're working with cones, spheres, cylinders, we're always going to be using pi. Remember pi very well. The question says, find the circumference of the following circles, correct to two decimal places. The first circle, we notice we have a diameter, and we know the diameter is the line it's an interval that goes through from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle and it goes through the center. The diameter here is 12 centimeters. We said we can use C equals 2 pi R or C equals pi D. We are now going to use C equals pi D. Why pi D? Because we have the diameter. We have the diameter, which means C equals pi D. Let's do the working out. Always write your formula, C equals pi D. C is our circumference. Pi, we're going to write, put it in our calculator, times our D. Our D is our diameter. In this case, it is 12 centimeters. C, circumference, equals pi times 12. Grab your calculator. Let's actually do it. and 37.699 and we're just going to write it two decimal places 37.70 this is our answer so the circumference of this circle is 37.7 centimeters so the surrounding around which is the boundary of the circle that has a diameter of 12 centimeters is actually 37.70 and of course we write our units centimeters this is our answer to two decimal places let's do another example the second example let's look at it carefully we have a circle again we are finding the circumference this total surrounding the total boundary of that circle hang on do we have the diameter no what do we have we have the radius. The radius here is 18 millimeters. So which formula are we going to use? We're going to use C equals 2 pi r, which means C equals 2 times pi times the radius. We have a radius, we'll use this formula. 2 times pi, and our radius is 18 millimeters. 
Grab your calculator. Let's do it together. 2 times pi times 18. 113.097. We want it to two decimal places. 113.10 millimeters. So our answer, the total circumference of this circle, the total surrounding of this circle, the total perimeter of this circle is 113.10 millimeters. This is basic. It's very easy. Remember the formulas. I always tell students, if you know the formulas, you'll never go wrong. If you want to know a good way to memorize them, in fact, write them down maybe 30 to 40 times. And by the end of those 30 or 40 times, you'll notice you've memorized these formulas. There are so many formulas in mathematics, very important to know every single one. This is the circumference of a circle.